The next presentation is a message from His Royal Highness, Prince Charles. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, can I just say how delighted I am to participate, if only uh, in a virtual sense, in this inaugural World Future Energy Summit in Abu Dhabi. Several months ago, the chief executive of Mazda, Dr. Sultan al Jabba, invited me to become uh, a patron of the Mazda Institute of Science and Technology. Now, I was delighted to accept chiefly because, for more years than I care to remember, I have believed that we must use the world's natural resources responsibly and sustainably. It seems clear to me that Mazda's mission, under the guidance of their highnesses Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed and Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, strongly supports this objective. In Abu Dhabi, you have been blessed with more natural resources than most. Uh, and when my wife and I had the great pleasure of visiting Abu Dhabi last February, I was impressed to learn of Mazda's deep commitment to and leadership in finding new ways to promote the sustainable development of your natural resources well into the future. So <clears throat> I do applaud the initiative's focus on new technologies, from groundbreaking work in carbon capture and storage to those future energies on which we will all increasingly depend in a world which must become significantly less reliant on hydrocarbons. The uh, technologies and techniques involved will obviously take time and inevitably resources to develop, which uh, is why this summit seems to me exactly the sort of leadership initiative that is needed to focus and accelerate the whole process. Now, uh, for what it is worth, I've always felt that the Middle East has the potential to take a lead in harnessing solar energy. Therefore, I was so pleased to hear that Mazda is already working on a 100 megawatt solar thermal power plant with the potential to be scaled up to more than 500 megawatts. I need hardly say how pleased I am that British companies are playing a prominent role in assisting you. And I can only look forward to this partnership developing and building on our shared ties. In all of this, uh, I am struck by the enormous and urgent challenges which we must face together. Perhaps the greatest of all is climate change, which until recently was perceived as a problem for the next generation. Nothing could be further from the truth. Scientists are now saying the problem is so grave and so urgent that we have less than 10 years to slow, stop and indeed reverse greenhouse gas emissions. That is why common actions in each and every country are urgently required to protect the common inheritance that has been given to us by our Creator. Ladies and gentlemen, this conference draws together a wealth of talent and expertise drawn from such diverse sectors as science, uh, industry and, of course, government from more than 40 countries. Working together, I hope you will be able to lay still more of the groundwork and that this work can be followed up over the months ahead on your return to your own countries. Real sustainable advances on a global level will need both time and commitment, not just from Europe, not just from the Middle East, but from across the globe. Personally, I'm convinced that with a sense of visionary energy, this is achievable. However, such progress will need individual leadership. This conference and Abu Dhabi's role in organising it would appear to provide just the sort of lead that is required. I'm delighted that uh, His Royal Highness the Duke of York is also participating in the proceedings, and I much look forward to hearing the results uh, and conclusions of your discussion and to my continuing association with the Mazda initiative. And now, if you will forgive the slight uh, paraphrasing of Shakespeare's Tempest, 
I propose to wish you every success for your discussions, to vanish into thin air, and leave not a carbon footprint behind.